What up YouTube? Corey here. We're back out in the shop today and today we've got a short little video for you. Uh, just answering uh, a question that a lot of you have asked. Um, I see it asked a lot and that's about the pre-primed bumpers you can get from you know eBay, Amazon, other places, carparts.com, um, several places. Uh, I've bought them from Rock Auto. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into that but these pre-primed bumpers, uh, I've seen them come with different, you know, primers and, you know, needing fixed, you know, nicks, scratches, dings, all that stuff. But um, sometimes you need it. But the main thing that we're going to go about is how to prep these bumpers and how to, um, we're going to show you guys that we use the adhesion promoter on them. They, they, the, these bumpers, they say pre-primed, but if you want your paint flaking off or chipping soon, then go ahead and paint over that pre-primed bumper that they sent. And I'm not dogging on them, but um, I've done this many times and I've tried painting over their pre-primed bumpers. I mean, they look good and you can scotch bite them and for the most part, they'll last. Paint will stick for a while, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, eventually, for some reason, it starts peeling off these things. So I always throw a good coat of 2K sealer over them. So we'll adhesion, you know, scotch bite them, throw adhesion promoter. If anything needs fixed, we'll, you know, use filler on them, fix any nicks or scratches that were, you know, sent, you know, from shipping. But uh, we'll go ahead and adhesion promote them and then 2K prime them or seal them if they don't need any primer, if there's not any body work spots. And then we will go ahead and go into our base coat and clear coat. So let's go check out what we've got and um, we'll get started. All right, guys, you can see this is, you know, it looks pre-primed, like it says, um, and it looks like it's a nice finish. It looks like you could just scotch bite it and go right on about your business, but we, um, you know, we've learned over the years that you don't want to do that. You'll have some comebacks, so that's what this video is about, showing you guys to, to make sure you're throwing some sealer on them. So <clears throat> I'll go ahead and take my scotch bright and just a clean old scotch bright and i'll scotch bright the whole thing and just to uh you know somewhat dull surface i'll show you the difference here real quick you can see it kind of just dulled it up real nice you want it scuffed up pretty good. And then from there, I'll, I'll do the whole thing real quick. And then from there, I'll go right into my adhesion promoter. And I've, I've tried several brands of this. Bully Dog is some pretty good stuff, top notch. But I've also found this stuff here seems to work wonders. It's slightly cheaper than the Bully Dog, but not much. Um, it also works well, so you put about two light coats on it, give it about 10 minutes, and then you can go right into your sealer. For our sealer today, we're just going to use the U-Pole 4 to 1 high build primer. Yeah, it says primer. But if you read over here, you can see where you can thin it out 10% and make it like a a sealer. So um, it's it's basically a 2 in 1. You can It's a surfacer or a filler, so... That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to thin it out, spray it down exactly like a sealer. I've already actually got it mixed up and thinned out here. So, kind of like a base coat almost, maybe just a tad thicker. But um, I will go ahead and uh, get that sprayed. And once I get that sprayed, then uh, we'll go into our base. But I'll go ahead and uh, get this thing scotch brighted, and we'll be back here in a few minutes. All right, guys, after our scotch bright, we already did that. We went ahead and cleaned it with some wax and grease remover. Got all of our contaminants off, just any old standard wax and grease remover. And then now we're gonna hit it with our um, tack cloth. And then we'll go right into our adhesion promoter.
like I said, just two light coats on the adhesion promoter. It don't take long, about, I don't know, I'd say 10 minutes, you know, five minutes in between each coat. So two light coats and then 10 minutes to dry. So about 20 minutes. But, um, yeah, I'll set you guys up here on the tripod real quick and then go ahead and spray it on. Alright guys, adhesion promoter is dry. It's been about 10, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go right straight into our sealer. So I'm going to throw my mask on, put you guys back up on the tripod, and um, go ahead and shoot our sealer. All right. All right, guys, after your primer sealer is dry, you see it's all flashed off. There's no more shiny. It's nice and dry. You can go ahead and tack it off. If you, uh, you know, you had any little imperfections or dirt nibs or anything, now's a good time to scotch bright them back out or, you know, lightly sand them with some 500 or whatever grit you prefer, I guess, up there. But, um, yeah, so I'll go ahead. I didn't have anything wrong. Everything laid out slick. I'm just going to go ahead and lightly tack this off real quick. And then we will go right into our base coat. And our base coat, we're using um, Wanda Base. I believe uh, this is a white collar. This is for a Dodge Journey. So. Um, Wanda base is some pretty good stuff. We've been using it for quite a while. I do believe it's. There's a little hair on there. Dang it. All right. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, Wanda base. It's made by Agzo Nobel. So, um, pretty good stuff. They've been around for a while. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this gun loaded up. Same gun, 1.7 tip, primer base coat gun. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and load that sucker up and get this stuff on there. I'll go ahead and get this sucker sprayed. It, uh, it's turning out nice so far. So yeah, follow these directions guys. You will not have to worry about your paint peeling off these bumpers. I learned the hard way. Hopefully you don't have to. I guess you can always just ask, send a message like most of you have been, but it was pretty easy just to make this video. So I'm going to go ahead and set you guys back up there real quick and uh, get to spray in this base coat. All right, guys, first coat of base is on see it's kind of dry I did I don't ever put my first coat of base on wet I don't ever put my first coat of clear on wet I always put it on fairly dry you know consistent but dry um, that gives me a good base or starting you know sticking point to go into my second coat and uh, generally you don't have any runs or have to worry about anything that way you don't have to worry about solid pop the first coat gets nice good and dry and your second coat is usually your coverage coat. Wanda base covers pretty good, so um, luckily this probably will only be two coats, and we'll move on to our clear coat. So looking pretty good so far. No dirt or anything. It's a plus. We'll be back. All right, guys, our base coat's nice and dry. Um, it's looking real slick back there. No imperfections so far. No dirt, no trash. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw my mask on, set you guys up uh, on the tripod, and go ahead and start clearing. For our clear, we're gonna use uh, the exact same brand of clear as we use for base coat, and that's Wanda, 
um, the Axo Nobel. So really good stuff. Two coats is all you need of that stuff. It uh, lays out like glass. So we'll go ahead and hop on over and set you guys up and get started. All right, guys, here's our clear. It's a four to one clear. We went ahead and mixed it up. We uh, went to the six, so on the four to one here, if you look on the cup, run your clear all the way up to the six, run your activator up to the six on the one, and we are good to go. Got it loaded in the gun, and uh, when we're clearing, just make sure um, you know, another little tip is to make sure you keep that wet edge. Don't don't start clearing here and then go over there and start and then work your way back because when you get over here, it's going to be really dry. So just make sure you flow with it. Do your edges over here and then work your way all the way around. Just keep that edge nice and wet. As quick as you can get back to the, you know, you stop spraying here. Then you go up here and get back over here as quick as possible. You don't want that to dry up on you. So... It's pretty warm in here. Uh, I've got it set about 70 degrees, so it won't take long for this stuff to kick up and get away from you. So it's looking pretty slick there. I'll go ahead and uh, just remember 50% overlap, roughly, you know, 50 to 75% overlap. So if you if you got your fan about this wide, you want your next coat to be right about in here. Maybe maybe slightly more, but. You know, obviously your fan's gonna be a little bit wider than that, but probably like this and then this. So that'll give you nice, even coverage and nice, even coats. But I'll go ahead and set you guys back up real quick and uh, get to spraying this stuff. All right, guys, first coat of clear is on. Now you can see it ain't, you know, I didn't lay it out super glassy. It's not super slick, slightly orange peely. Looks what the term I use is dry all the time, just slightly orange peely. You don't want to go overboard on that first coat or it'll be sliding off of there. But uh, again, guys, this is just my procedure with my pre prime bumpers. I, like I said, they're pre prime, but I've had them bite me in the butt six months customer comes back and you got a big old chunk coming out right here because you trusted that pre-prime bumper so don't let it happen to you i'm going to go ahead and lay this second coat out real quick and we'll be back because i don't want you guys to think that all my stuff looks like that can't have that so i'll be back after i lay some glass on this and uh, you guys can take a look at it all right guys, here it is. Last coat's on. It's been clearing out for a little while now. It's pretty dry. Um, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Looks like a Dodge Journey bumper. I'll have to nib it a little bit. Slightly peely. Not terrible. No runs, no dirt, nothing ugly. Slightly sand and buffet. When I do that, I usually just use 2000 grit. A lot of people say you gotta run all through the grits and do different grits, go all the way up to 5000 and buff. No, I just start at 2000 and end at 2000 and then polish it out. Don't take but a second and then all your peel's gone, every last bit of it. Didn't turn out too bad. Take me a few minutes to sand it. Wasn't as slick as I'd like to have been, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you guys have any questions or comments about the pre-prime bumpers or any of the steps that I took or anything that I used, please do not hesitate to ask. Drop them down below. I'll try to get right back to you. If you wanna hate on me, I like that too. Drop it down below also. Definitely want to see that. Um, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. I don't care. Whoever. Tell somebody. All right. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.